Geopolitical rivalry between powers is going far beyond Europe and Asia, establishing a new ambassador position by the United States focused on the Arctic region shows new realities. Hello everyone, I'm Shafi, welcome to the new episode of Polite Affairs. Why United States is presenting a new ambassador for the Arctic region? The answer is simple. Arctic is an area of growing geostrategic concern to the United States as well as Russia and China. The Arctic is of growing interest to the United States and its main rivals partly because of climate change. The reduction in ice has opened new shipping routes and made possible opportunities for energy extraction. Russia, which has a long Arctic coastline, is putting its mark on the region including by expanding its military presence. And China also calls itself a near-Arctic state and seeks ways to expand its access for economic and other reasons. The United States at the moment has an Arctic coordinator position and the State Department announcement says the plan is to elevate the coordinator role into an ambassadorship. This decision comes amid unusually tense relations between Moscow and Washington due to the war on Ukraine and also utterly tense relations between United States and China due to the Taiwan issue. The department announcement says the new ambassador will engage with counterparts in Arctic and non-Arctic nations as well as indigenous groups and work closely with domestic stakeholders including state, local and tribal governments, businesses, academic institutions, non-profit organizations, other federal government agencies and the Congress. So as we see, military presence and extraction of mineral and energy resources are the main reasons why US is worried about Russia and China in the Arctic. Russia especially is stamping up activities in this region. Russian interest in the Arctic has deep historic roots that extend all the way to the 16th century and the conquest of Siberia driven by the never-ending quest for more resources and secure trading routes. Modern-day Russian posture in the Arctic is integral to its overall confrontation with the West. But why Russia is giving too much attention to this region? Preparation for the unlikely but potentially catastrophic contingency of war in Europe and the need to secure its second strike nuclear capabilities, the bulk of which is based around the Kola Peninsula, and also the great power ambitions and interests of powerful bureaucratic elites play a role. China also has ambitions in this region and has said it wants to build a polar silk road. China has its eye on mineral resources and new shipping routes. For the United States to say briefly, it is important not to let Russia and China carry on their activities and objectives in this region. Moscow and Beijing also have mutual plans in the Arctic, and this is what bothers NATO too. The eight Arctic nations are Canada, Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Russia, and the United States. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also to share your opinion with me in the comments. There are also dozens of other videos on similar issues in my channel. Don't forget to check them out.